Hi, I'm Michael Strong from Michael Strong Rubber Stamps. You know, these catalogs and magazines really pile up, and I hate to throw them out. I've got an idea. How about using them for a craft project? I'm going to turn these into something beautiful, and I want to show you how to do it. <laughs> Now we're going to make a couple of things today. The first project is this card that you see here. And as you can see, we have these really pretty butterfly wings that move. What we're using for the raw material is something from those magazines. And it's just some of the pages that I cut out. And if you'll notice, they're mostly just bright colors. When you go through your magazines, you're going to look at them in a whole new way now. Look for these bright colors, kind of generic colors. You don't want anything with text on it or anything like faces or anything. Just nice background color. What you do want to avoid, though, is anything with white spots like this because it really doesn't look very good on the finished product. So just nice blocks of color. And you don't need a huge piece either because the wings are just about three inches by one inch. You can get away with just a little tiny piece of blue paper like you see here. Now I'm going to stamp on this piece of paper here. I'm using a colorless ink. I'll stamp some of the ink onto my rubber stamp. This is one of my cloisonne designs. You see it's very intricate on the inside but easy to cut out on the outside, which is what I like because I'm lazy. I don't want to cut out a big interesting stamp. So there we go. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some gold embossing powder from Judykins. That's really a nice bright metallic gold. We're shaking off the extra and then we're going to heat that with the heat tool. And you'll see how it transforms. You need to do this twice. Once on the magazine page that you see here and then once on a background piece. And in this case it's a piece of black cardstock. So there's how that looks. And then this is how it looks on the black cardstock, as you can see. Very dramatic. The next step for this project is to cut these wings out. Now you don't have to cut out the little antenna because they're already here on the black piece. And once again, those would be a pain to cut out and I can't be bothered with that. So as you see, it's an easy cut, just simple lines to cut. I have this nice little template that you can use to glue the butterfly wing to. And the template will be available to download. So what I'm going to do is just glue that wing. Make sure you get it all. And then you'll just glue it right to that template. The idea of the template, it's going to give you these little tabs that you see here. And what I'm going to do is cut that right on the tab and see how that works. Now don't cut this away, I've done it many times by accident, but you want to make sure that you don't cut this tab away because it's an important element. It also makes the wing a lot stronger so that when you are kind of playing with it, it doesn't fall apart because the magazine paper is very thin. So you'll do this twice, you'll do one like this, then you'll do the other one too. And now I have some that I did before and I just wanted to show you how that looks and then how the two of them look after they've been cut out and put together like that. The next step we're going to do is to cut some slits in the black paper that I embossed before. So take your craft knife and cut some little slits, one on either side of the body, between the wings and the body. And then all you have to do is insert the tabs into the little slots. You see how that works. And you're gonna get this nice effect. So one on either side. Turn it over and just bend them down and tape them in place. All right, we're ready to attach it to our card. And what I have is a five by seven card and a framing piece, which is the same color of cardstock, kind of a creamy colored cardstock. And I added these pop-up dots on the corners so that when you turn it over, you have a, this nice little shadow underneath. So there's a gold piece of cardstock also that kind of mimic the gold in the card itself. And then we just add the butterfly at the end. I think it's a very elegant card, very simple to do. Now, if you think one butterfly is great used from recycled material, how about a whole flock of butterflies? This is a page I made. As you can see, it's vintage pictures of my family. It's my grandmother and her sisters in 1916. It just needed the butterflies to really accentuate the idea of springtime. So I want to show you how I did that. 
We used the same technique that we did before, stamped the butterfly cloisonné design onto a magazine page. Now I took this one step further this time. I took these originals and scanned them into my computer and then repeated it so that you've got a whole contact sheet of butterfly wings, as you see here. So you've got plenty to work with. Here's what they look like when they're cut out. And instead of the body this time, I decided to use a button to attach them. It gives it a little bit more of a nostalgic look. So I turned the wings over and I'm putting a little bit of tape on the back to hold them together. And then on the front, I'm using some double-sided tape to put on that button. And the button kind of makes the body of the butterfly. We'll call that the body of the butterfly. Now the only thing missing is the antenna. This is just a little piece of vellum paper and I cut little strips off the end of it and all you have to do to make the antenna is take your finger and your thumb and give it a little twist like that. It's really easy to do. Need a couple of them. Just give it a little twist. Turn your butterfly over. Put a little bit more double-sided tape on the back. And we're just going to attach the antenna right to the back of the butterfly, just like this. Just stick them on. You can see how, how that looks when it's done. Here's another one that I've done together. And I'm going to decorate the page, so I want to show you how that layout looks. And we're just going to add the butterflies, one up in the corner by the title block, and one down here by my grandmother. Now the only thing missing is more butterflies. We've got to have a whole flock. So, of course, I had to bring some recycling into this project. So I went to the grocery store and I found produce bags. Now, they come in all different colors, as you see here, but I wanted um, a white one. So I found a white bag. I cut it up and made this rectangle of netting out of it. I think this one had onions in it or something. I don't smell the onions anymore. But So what we're going to do to make a butterfly net on this is to lay these butterflies right inside on top of this netting. We're going to fold it over, and you know it has that tape on the back, so it's kind of holding it in place. Fold this up like that. Get another piece of tape to hold that net in place. And then just place it right on the page. And you've got a whole flock of butterflies ready to go. Now I'm going to close up the net with a piece of ribbon. Now I'm not going to bore you by trying to make a nice pretty bow because it'll take me 10 minutes and I don't want to do that. But here on the finished page you can see the finished bow that's closing up the butterfly net. So we've got the butterflies, we've got the pretty antenna here, and the nice family layout. I think it turned out pretty cool actually. In addition to that, of course, you can do other things and I have some other designs in my cloisonné line. Now this one I designed with a hidden crack in it. It's the Easter egg and you can kind of cut it in half and make a gatefold card like that. So before your magazines and catalogs hit the recycle bin, go ahead and harvest those, oh, here's a good one. <laughs> harvest those colors, you're gonna find some free, almost free, craft material. I'll see you next time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips. Oh, my God.